Welcome to AARC TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak. Day three began with the 44th Donald F. Egan Scientific Memorial Lecture about caring for mechanically ventilated patients in the ICU. Dr. Sangeeta Mehta spoke about the difficulties you face with patients in the ICU. She says the goals of patient care should now focus on awake, comfortable, and interactive patients. Here's some advice for ICU clinicians. I highly recommend that you all go and talk to your patients once they leave the ICU and ask them what they remember and what their experience was. There are a few studies that are very informative of their experience while they're lying there mechanically ventilated, unable to communicate. The thing that was really interesting to me was um, getting the information from the, the from the patients. You know, the polls about um, seeing nightmares or the, um, the the crazy stories, and that really you know took uh, went home with me because that's why we're here is to take care of patients and to see that they're not having a good experience. Obviously, we need to fix that. Respiratory also sometimes we go and suction them, and I was thinking maybe they can, you know, feel the pain. And sometimes we don't realize, but we want to take the secretion out. That is our goal, but uh, we have to always think about what mentally they are thinking too. Very good presentation. Uh, problems we all know, we just can't seem to get over it. Uh, the delirium aspect was very good too. Dean Hess, editor of Respiratory Care, took some time to encourage researchers and clinicians to submit their findings to the 2018 AARC Open Forum. I would like to encourage everyone to think about an Open Forum submission for next year. The Open Forum is a very exciting part of the AARC Congress where respiratory therapists have an opportunity to showcase some of the original research that they may be doing back home where they are working. This is really an opportunity for every respiratory therapist to use the scientific method to prepare an abstract and then bring that abstract to the Congress for presentation. AARC Congress offers a student symposium for new professionals to help prepare the next generation of respiratory therapists. A range of topics were covered including ways to land a dream job, tips to have a successful interview, and what kind of characteristics and behaviors you should have now as a professional. I think the main thing I've taken is um, what we should include in a resume and cover letter and what they're looking for and they'll tell us what if they see on a resume or a cover letter, how they'll just put it aside right away and not even look at it. So it's good learning what not to put in a resume and what to put in a resume. I was really interested in going to the waveform synchronization because that's something in the critical care area that I have had a hard time with. So I really liked going and listening to that lecture. Students are also focusing on passing their exams in order to earn their certifications. And here to offer some tips is Bill Galvin. Bill, what advice do you have for students in order to pass the multiple choice exam? Okay, in order to pass the, the uh, multiple choice exam, really there's two general things I tell people. Make sure that they prepare properly in terms of knowing the content and all the material that's going to be on the exam. And then in addition to that, the test taking strategies and techniques that they can use. I think the most important strategy really is the process of elimination. And when it comes to the clinical simulation exam, what tips do you have for students? Okay, the, cl the clinical simulation is a very unique exam. It's very different from anything that really anyone's going to take. So when you come to that, you really want to make sure that you read the items. I think that's extremely important. And I always say to people, make sure that you're, you're following the clinical practice guidelines, the evidence-based medicine. Uh, those kinds of things are really the driving force behind your decision. So that Still plenty more to come here at AARC Congress 2017. You'll want to attend the 33rd Phil Kittredge Memorial Lecture on evaluating the value of a respiratory therapist. Plus, during the closing ceremony, you'll hear from Dr. Natalie Stavas as she shares her experience during the Boston Marathon bombings. AARC meetings are where the profession comes together to present, network, and learn. Be sure to join us next year as AARC Congress 2018 heads to Las Vegas.
I come every year. Um, there's, it's already on the schedule, so it's not even a, you know, a, a second whim of thinking about going or not going. I will be at 2018. AARC Congress is always a great place to network with other respiratory therapists, movers and shakers and educators. See you in Las Vegas 2018. It's been a re-energizing week here at AARC Congress 2017 in Indianapolis, where you've been able to learn, network, and see the latest respiratory equipment. I'm Rachel Kopchak. Thanks for watching AARC TV.